my turn to do the intro, and this is it. To the Tag and Brando Podcast. Hey! Nice. <laughs> and we are getting started new and fresh today, but asking, what is up with you, man? How you, how, how's it going? You know, how's it going? It's goes how's it It's goes in great. Uh, goes in fine, goes in just perfect. Um. Yeah, man, nothing's changed. I'm locked in the house. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How about um, you? Yeah, I um, I got out of the house a little bit today. Ooh, and, fancy damn. Um, that was like the driveway. <laughs> nice. No, we went we went on a little walk and went to a park and played with the dog and stuff. So cool. It was, yeah, it was all right. Cool. Um, it's it's yeah. I mean. It's pretty sad when, you know, like putting on pants, you're just like, oh my gosh, like I don't even know where my pants are. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen my pants in a month. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, cause yeah, I just rocking pajama pants most, you know, most of the do time what you, anyway. Do what you can do, man. Yeah. But this is the Tag and Brando podcast Welcome. where we just kick it. Really kind of, yeah, we kind of just, we just, uh, Chew the fat a little bit, you know. Uh, we just jaw, as, uh, as Andy Griffith would say. That's true. <laughs> and uh, but we 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 get it going here with a with a couple of different segments. Uh, one of which is the question of the day. Ah. Then we're gonna reach way back into our triggered memories. Beep, 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 beep. Not like PTSD kind of triggered memories, but like you know, no, just not a question, not memory you know, triggers. Yeah, <laughs> just something that you know kind of gets gets a good uh, gets a good story or two. And then we want to know what's we want to know where the gold's at. We want to know where the gold's at. I want the gold. Give me the gold. <laughs> if you don't know that, I feel a little sad because Dude, that was that's good times. so old now. That, oh, it's so old. That video is so old. Oh, the wow. Alabama Leprechaun. If you don't know what we're talking about, you can look it up. Mobile Alabama Leprechaun. Yes. But uh, speaking of reaching way back mm-hmm. and uh, kind of reminiscing here. Uh, we came across this uh, thing for I think like it was like cable TV dot TV or cable something dot TV blah blah blah, and they were kind of advertising. I think you have to be an influencer, as you know, some people out there are. And obviously, if you're listening to this podcast and you're an influencer, then what have you been doing? Get it out there! Come on now. <laughs> but anyway, help us out they, is what we're saying. <laughs> they uh, they were saying. And I put this question to you. If you were given $2,000 mm-hmm. to binge watch your favorite television series, and let's say, you know, you have to do like, you know, you have to do a tweet every couple of minutes or, you know, uh, stuff you realize, you know, about the series or connections you made, blah, 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 um, for each episode. What series would you binge watch? So they're going to pay me to watch one of my favorite shows? Yeah, so you got to... And we'll say it has to go more than four seasons. So at least five seasons. Oh, you jerk. Really? It's going to be five seasons long? (laughs) Well, yeah. I mean, like, you were just going to go... The last Airbender, weren't you? No, Avatar, the last you don't know Airbender. what I'm talking. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's got three uh, seasons in there. Great. Yeah, they are great. But dig, um, dig it. <laughs> you knew it too. You're like five seasons, please. <laughs> five seasons. Uh, what a yep. butt. Um, okay. Well, I might need to think about it now. <laughs> you stole my answer. Okay. What? Uh, what is your answer? So that's the thing, man. I I gotta I gotta think if I'm gonna circle back again, because you know there was, you know they're always saying like, oh, this is gonna be coming off of Netflix and this is you know gonna be on Netflix and stuff like that. Um, 
Well, like it's perf- gone through the office like seven times already. Well, it's the perfect time to go through community again. We are going through community again. So, um, there you go. That's on there's a, Yeah, there is a ton of stuff on community that I, but I don't know. I mean, yes, for two thousand dollars, I would one hundred percent because I probably am going to do it anyway. Watch all of community, but that was that last Yahoo series season is just. Horrible! So I did it's not so see it. Bad. So it was like you, you have a good time all the way through, and then the last part, which is the hardest to watch, anyways, because you've been binging for this long time. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst part, and you're like, oh no. But yeah. that could be with most. I don't know. Uh, with a lot of shows that kind of peter so, at the end, you know. I'm gonna reach back, Ooh, um, and I am definitely gonna shit. say. One thing that I just recently re-binged on Hulu mm-hmm. was Wings. You were ta- Tim, you've been talking Tim, about Wings. You've been talking yeah, about we, Wings. Wings, man. You must enjoy your Wings. Oh, dude. I enjoy it like Hawaii on a in a 90s honeymoon episode. Like every, <laughs> every Oh, well, okay. At the same time as I've been binging Wings, Uh Stephanie has been binging Boy Meets World, and it it has just been 90s all over this house. It is just the the hair and the big baggy clothes and just the, oh man, the pseudo homophobiaishness you know <laughs> where it's like well we 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 want to say it's still kind of weird but we can't we also kind of want to be accepting because this is before Will and Grace gets on the air like <laughs> all this kind of different stuff it's oh, it's it's too good it's too funny and yeah you look at all those, and everybody goes to Hawaii for their honeymoon. Heck everybody. yeah, man. Hawaii was yeah. getting that tourist yeah. money, buddy. Yeah. Hawaii honeymoon is it was the was the staple and stuff. I mean, even to the point, I think, what was it on uh, How I Met Your Mother? Like, um, I don't even know. I Like, How I Met Your Mother, I kind of petered out. But they there's a Hawaii uh, honeymoon in that. There's just Hawaii honeymoons all over the place. That's the way to do it. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Friends? Don't they go to Hawaii for friends for something? Yeah. Uh, My wife says yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? Ross is a keynote speaker for a convention. Oh, that's right. Ross is going to go talk for a convention. He's got a convention speech and they all go. Oh, yeah. And that's when, you gotta have a- and that's when you're like, Monica and Chandler, say huh? Yeah, Be- or what is it? Uh, Say by the Bell Hawaiian style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what? What? What are you binging? Oh where, my Where gosh. are you getting this two grand? This is rough, bro. This is rough. I could probably do. It's a lot of seasons, though. I'm trying to think of something that's real close to five because it's not. <laughs> it's like more bang for my buck than doing right. like a nine or ten season doing show. Doctor Who, <laughs> Doctor Dude, you can't binge all of Doctor Who technically. Well, they're t- they're technically two different sh- right, shows ish. Right, right, right. uh, so you could probably just do the new ones, but that's still so long um Mm -hmm. yeah what you want is you want a 30 minute show right right you can binge without commercials so it's more like 21 minute and uh five seasons so it's shorter and it doesn't take you that long to get through it all Mm -hmm. but uh, i could i could do but with all of that out the window i could do (laughs) I could do Parks uh, and Rec. I could do Parks and Rec. I Parks could... and Rec is only seven, right? Is it seven? I think it's seven. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. I could do Parks and Rec. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could do... I could do... Oh, I had another one. I could do... Lost it. Lost it. Well, while you're thinking of that, you remember when Parks and Rec was terrible? Dude, well, that's the thing is that it gets... 
it starts bad and gets better. Well, so that's like starts, one of those that you're like, ah, yeah. I got to make it through the first season where like half of the characters go away. <laughs> and then you and Andy's just living in a hole for the full <laughs> season. The, the thing about Parks and Rec, if you remember, we had, you know, we had office watching parties, right? Mm-hmm. So we would all like, you know, back in the day when television was actually scheduled, um, oh, I, we, we, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. There was like a whole guide to it and everything. Yeah, you <laughs> like, could buy it or you could like yeah. subscribe look to it, it up on early AOL internet. Yeah. So anyway, you would watch The Office as like a group of friends and everything. Um, but then they started trying to get Parks and Rec off the ground. And they would put it after an episode of The Office. They would put it before the episode of The Office. There was literally one week... They put it in between two new episodes of The Office. Because they're like, I'm please like, somebody watch this show. <laughs> I'm like, that is the most shoehorned in thing I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. Where it's just like, we have to keep these people engaged. Where are they going to go for an a- half an hour? Where? Like, we got to get them to watch this. Sh- and it took off and it was great. But I mean, like, it... They tried so hard yeah, <laughs> on that show. Oh my gosh! But yeah, kudos to them. I mean, they they got it going. So they did, and it gets mm-hmm. it gets good. Speaking of Michael Shore, I could I could do Brooklyn Nine Nine, which is still going though. So that like I don't Ooh, know how long yeah. I'd have to watch that. Mm-hmm. When it's all said and done, you know a show is good when it has to switch networks. <laughs> when yeah, when one's like you're not good enough, and the other one's like mm-hmm. yeah you was yeah, and then yeah. they're like well mm-hmm. we're doing fine. Um, I could do, I could do Arrested Development. Oh, you are eking out that well. Arrested Development with the fifth season. It's oh, five man. seasons. It's five seasons. Yeah, yeah but that's. That's also brutal, man. It's brutal. I don't think I, I. For one, I enjoyed the last season actually quite a bit. Okay. So I. So that's not a, a problem. The fourth season, it would be the toughest, just because you binging it too. You're basically watching the same scene like eight times, right? Well, that's the From thing. Different angles, but uh, I don't know. You can only watch the recut now. The recut. So they had it to where it was um, like an episode of Michael, an episode of George Michael, an episode of Lindsay. And like you said, yeah, you're watching the same thing over and over and over again because it all starts, um, you know, off right off the boat and everything like that. Right. right. Well, they recut it so it's more linear and you're watching the whole thing like with multiple main characters per episode oh really yeah i and did so, not even know about this so I, I haven't even seen that yeah and so it's it's fine and it it's fine for you know a normal viewing but ironically you do miss a lot of the nuance because the way they wrote it was like oh right. we're gonna hide this see for, multiple yeah, angles of each thing yeah like Maybe I think is the biggest kind of reveal where she's behind half of the crap that happens, you know, right, and everything like that. And so having her spoilers, kind of, <laughs> right? But I mean, like that, that that that's just kind of it's just interesting because now it's like, oh well, we can't. This joke doesn't land because it happens immediately after. It's not three episodes later, right? So, um, but anyway, rest development. I could, I can. Definitely, like, I mean, I've sat through the fourth one at least two different ways, so. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it one way. I could do it again. So that one, that uh, one wouldn't be that bad, because, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, the third season's a short season anyways, right? Right. So if you're talking just length, like, that's a pretty mm-hmm. good one to do. Five seasons so, exactly, a couple short seasons, there you go. Bada so bing, what, if we're re- what if we're reaching back? What if it's got to be. 80s and like 70s 80s 90s it's got to be something that you it's got to be something that you haven't seen all of the episodes in a row because that's one of the crazy things about watching like 
even something like Seinfeld. Yeah. Like Seinfeld, I have seen every episode, but it was just all in syndication. It was just random here and there, whatever. Right. I did not notice these there's actually story arcs. There's actually, you know, three or four, five, even ten episode story arcs that I'm like, where is where was this? Like I can't remember. It's like, oh yeah, like this was a reference to this and this. But they actually did it wasn't just a completely disjointed non sequitur. Gotcha. So, so yeah, something that you something that you've watched a lot of, but you haven't binge watched before i don't know this is a hard question for me um quantum leap (laughs) uh, i've i've we started when we were first married we started quantum leap i don't remember how many seasons we got into it we did pretty good we also we also watched probably through two seasons of sliders straight through <laughs> <laughs> oh the best cg uh, Loved it. out there Loved it. i like some timey wimey yeah um, ironically that is what is going to be a wormhole I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna be like how the wizard of oz um is supposedly still the best representation of a tornado <laughs> people say really i don't know i heard that somewhere where after twister came out they're like well experts say that the uh special effects in the wizard of oz are still a better representation than all the cgi and blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm like yeah that means that sliders is gonna be like when we finally go to a wormhole you're like oh my gosh this is exactly it, it. it it's like when, when it's we, like a screensaver. When we going land, through. <laughs> and and it's the same experience. You land, you're like, how much time do we got? Uh, yeah. We got a whole day and a half here. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Um, the, pre- the premise of that show is they have a device that can slide, but they're always like 10 minutes behind the people that they're chasing all right, or something, and so they have to like no, survive in that time. No, it's while the very, other people... it's very quantum leapy, but because they don't mean to jump initially. Okay. Um, what's his face? Uh, well, he, the fat kid I mean... from Stand by Me. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, what's his name? Jer- uh, uh, Jerry. Jer- uh, Jerry. O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Um, right. He's the main kid in it, and he's a smart boy, and he creates a device that opens up a wormhole. And I don't it's remember exactly how trip, it is, but it's Trip McNeely. Trip Trip McNeely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he creates this thing, and it's not done. Like, he hasn't finished, and he hasn't tweaked it perfectly yet, and he, uh-huh. he accidentally activates it and gets gets wormholed away and i don't remember how he ends up with his buddies and stuff and this john rex davies and the professor um (laughs) but anyway they do they end up getting sucked in this and one of the things he hadn't tweaked was like the destination coordinates like he wasn't able to Mm -hmm. to fix that so that he could enter in the specific coordinates or whatever and, and time frames and things like this. So they're, they're jumping into this wormhole and there's no way for them to get home because they can't enter in their destination or the time they want to leave. They just end up someplace. They look at the device and it says the device is automatically going to open another wormhole in a day and a half or in four hours. And they have to survive in this all alternate reality mm-hmm. for that time frame and you know sometimes they land in an all lava planet which conveniently <laughs> had a wormhole time of half a second and it was placed underneath them so they fell into it lucky them but uh <laughs> but uh uh, you know, but they end up in these war torn places where they gotta like basically fight with the resistance for a day and a half, or like mm-hmm. all these weird things, and uh, and yeah, uh, always trying to you know put right what, what, what was wrong. Once went wrong, <laughs> but I 
I Google it. It does have five seasons, so sliders could be. Oh, here, we could finish here. sliders. I've yeah. never finished sliders. Yeah, the best part about this is when you go to Google Image Search. Uh-huh. I got one picture of the crew, you know, like the poster for sliders, uh-huh. and then just a million hamburgers. <laughs> A million hamburgers? <laughs> a million different, like, slider hamburger oh, pictures. Oh, oh, I like, was like, what? It's like one picture of Sliders, the TV show, and then a million pictures of Cause, small cause hamburgers. Because hamburgers are, yeah, even Much teeny hamburgers popular. are more popular than that show. Yes. Um, Ooh, sliders. sliders would definitely be something that, yeah, if you got paid $2,000 to watch it, and, but that's the thing, again, you have to like tweet about it. You have to be like, because you know, like when people started watching Friends, like all the millennials or whatever started right. watching Friends, and they're like, "Oh my gosh!" Like you know, this is terrible, and this is like you could never make this again today, and all that kind of different stuff. Like, yeah. it's interesting to see TV shows in that light. I think. Yeah, yeah. I watched. Uh... It's old now. There's a React video where they talk about they they have these kids watch like four episodes of Seinfeld, mm-hmm. and then they come back and they're like, "They're terrible people. They do terrible things. They can't do that stuff nowadays." And I can't believe he did that. He's such a bad person. And you're just like, "Well, you don't get the show. Like they're not good people. <laughs> like right. that's not the they- point." <laughs> They call it out on the, I mean, spoiler, on the very last episode where it's like, yes, they are going to jail because they didn't help somebody. <laughs> like, they just sat there and made fun of them. Right. So, yeah. I think it's very interesting. But yeah, Seinfeld, I could definitely uh, binge watch that again. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, um, what about trying to think of like other really good shows that i haven't seen all the way through yeah i don't know because because there was like because like it, it's so interesting to think about how different it is now because you know before you i mean you took a history of television class it was like well, TV's live, so if you miss it, you miss it. <laughs> you yeah, know? no, totally. And then, and then, I love Lucy comes along, and it's just like, oh well, we can rerun these, you know, and you know, kind of go. <laughs> if you film it with a nice camera, you could rerun <laughs> yeah. them and make more money. Yeah. And what do we call these? Do a, do against <laughs> playovers. Watch it again. <laughs> yeah. No, we're just gonna rerun the thing. What are we gonna call? Oh, it? oh well, we'll call it a rerun. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and then. It's like, and yeah, if you miss something, then you got to wait for like a rerun or it's like, oh, I got to pray for a marathon. Well, that's a thing, right? If you missed an episode, if you you're get just that. like, <laughs> I did not. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you missed it, you missed it. Like mm-hmm. you thought, well, maybe this will get picked up in syndication at some point and then they'll show it again. Or maybe mm-hmm. s- in two years, there'll be short episodes. So they'll do a recap episode Mm -hmm. where i could see part of the storyline or something oh my gosh hold on i gotta okay so boy meets world right Uh like i said heard of it stephanie stephanie just uh went through that on disney plus tell me did do 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 cory and topanga finally hook up or what's the deal they hook up and they're like married for like a season and a half i know i'm kidding (laughs) oh okay they're together in girl meets world (laughs) i know (laughs) know. but no okay the the craziest thing about it is in their last two episodes uh-huh they do a recap or like it's a it's a clip show kind of thing right where they're like oh remember how we're best friends and then it's like all these like you know clips of him and Sean and then uh-huh. clips of him and Topanga and Cory and Topanga and blah 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 uh-huh. but on part 2 they do a replaying of the clips that they played in the last episode. <laughs> oh, you can't see my face right now, but I'm annoyed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, like it's like last time on Boy Meets World, and it's not all the new stuff that like is telling the story. It's like, oh, we played Re- a bunch of clips. Like, the- 
Like this clip. <laughs> Feeny! Feeny! <laughs> like, it's just like, you're reclipping the same clips. Like, you got nine seasons of this, like, or whatever. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. that's funny. How many, uh, how many seasons, seasons is the Wonder Years? Ooh, I could do the Wonder Years. I could do Let's that. See. Yeah. Uh Fred Savage, such a jerk in the uh, what's it called? Ooh, six. Not bad. Not bad. Six. They're twenty two episodes a season though. Yeah, it's like full full seasons. <laughs> full they on did seasons, good baby. for all six seasons. Okay, yep. okay. See, the Wonder Years would definitely be something. Well, it's a good show. Like it was a good show, and um, yeah, counting through would be. Oh no, you got six. The first season's only six, and then seventeen on that second season. So you get you get it get into okay. it pretty quick. So that's not but, bad. Yeah. What about Alf? I watched Alf as a kid. I remember very little about the actual quality of the yeah, humor like and the show. Four. Yeah. So I don't I don't really know. I probably watched more of the animated C- C- uh, show than I did the actual show. Right. But I don't know about that either. No, Alf would be yeah. Alf would be kind of rough, I think. I think probably. Well, we, Modern Family just ended, right? Right. And they did like... Nine seasons? What was it? Ten seasons? Yeah. Something crazy. So, something like that. And then... Nine seasons? Yeah, I think it was 11. And then uh, Ed O'Neill was saying... Like he was saying like how he didn't want to do TV again. He's like, yeah, because I had already done like, you know, 10 seasons with like Married with Children. I'm like, that went for 10 seasons? Really? Oh, man. Oh, I no. mean, I mean, it was funny-ish, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it, it just, that, like, how can you tell those same jokes, like, for so Ten long? seasons, holy cow. I did not, yeah. well, they're still making money on it. Yeah. Funny yeah. side story. My daughter, who is one. 11 seasons, excuse me. 11 seasons goodness my daughter who is one loves remotes and technology and we're pretty sure that she somehow dvr'd married with children for my on my folks television that's because they're like where are these awesome. they're like where are these coming from we don't watch this show mm-hmm. and i was like Ugh, i bet it was lyra oh. that thing's on the box is on she just plays with the remote when the tv's off uh, right uh, sorry anyways um. Yeah. So there's some home, good. There's some options. Home, home improvement. improvement. I could probably do home improvement. I would. Uh. I could do what that is seventy show. I have Ooh. I have done that seventy show not in one straight sitting, but uh-huh. it it suffers from the like last season is not great syndrome. Hmm. Because a lot of the guys leave. Well, namely, Eric leaves. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. What about, ugh, I think Family Matters would be hard. Uh, family Matters would be hard because that, uh, did you, did you ever see the Key and Peel about Family Matters? I haven't, No. Oh, it's like Carl, or I can't remember his his real name. Mm-hmm. But he comes in to like the producers and stuff, and he's just or like the producer. And he's just like this show used to be about a family, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like last week Steve turned me into a car, <laughs> <laughs> like, and how Urkel Mania just. It like, just took that show. Like, and he was yeah. supposed to be an insular character that they used, like, maybe every now and then, you know? Yeah. And just... then he had to be on every episode after. Mm-hmm. Well, and then he got a ne- second personality. Right. So and he's like, I want people yeah. to think I'm cool, too. A Stefan yeah. Urkel. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So that would be hard. 
how many seasons um, did ha- Hanging with Mr. Cooper have? <laughs> four <laughs> I want to say like TG, TGIF I just think, man. Yeah, I'm on TGIF yeah. right now <laughs> I don't, it's not even on this list of like 90 sitcoms That's so, it's not oh no. that's too bad uh, uh, step by step but maybe yes. be okay I don't know ish uh, Drew Carey show would be good I could probably do oh, the no. Drew Carey show Hang with Mr. Cooper went five. Five seasons. Oh, yeah. there you go. Drew Carey show. Um, King of the Hill, I actually did recently, and that was really good. Oh, yeah. That was that was interesting because, again, it's like, you know, it's it's a very, very progressive show. It's actually very interesting because, like, you know, Hank's got to be this, like, you know, Joe American, like, you know, set in his ways. And every single episode is like, you know, it, whether it's Bobby's juggling or he meets, you know, a transvestite or he his his mom, you know, is marrying a, like a Jewish guy or something like that. You know, <laughs> like it's always like it's like we got to dig. We got to. And every time he's like so resistant, but then he realizes how this person, you know, really is a good person or helps him out or whatever. He becomes a pimp or <laughs> all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Like, it's just like, oh, after a while, you'd be like, man, just open your mind just in general. <laughs> like, just, you got to be, you got to be rooted out of every Stop learning the lesson like every exactly. week. Exactly. Like, oh, yeah. this is just what I learned last week. Dang yeah. it. Dang it, Bobby. Why don't you remind <laughs> me boy, I learned it last week? Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of... A lot of shows out there that I that would be not. tough, man. That night night court, <laughs> <laughs> eight seasons of night court. <laughs> there you go, man. Mm-hmm. It would be funny if it, if it. I mean, of course, you, to get paid to watch something and like to live tweet it or whatever would have to be mm-hmm. like a show that was recently on or you know is like recently on netflix or something where that show actually wants publicity and wants people to watch it right 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 Mm -hmm. but wouldn't it be funny if it was like some you know the classic 90s cartoons or something that you watched as a kid and you're like i gotta watch this like the the pace is so slow oh yeah even even watching ninja turtles or or mm -hmm. thundercats or something like that (laughs) Thundercats, where it's just like, do these life, do these life lessons hold up? That's the question you have to answer every time. (laughs) Right? Are we all like men, boy, lions? (laughs) (laughs) That would be actually that would be you know if you if you were going for your masters and everything based off your track record, I would say you need to go through like. 90s <laughs> PSA and like and uh shows like you know kids cartoons and stuff like that and see what morals kids were taught <laughs> easy and how... just watch GI Joe and <laughs> exactly. at the end it's going to teach you everything you need to know and then and then do some kind of you know cross study with like you know what like the moral you know america's morals are like now like so be like okay like do people really you know let kids take turns or whatever (laughs) like you know all this kind of stuff and see if you can like find some correlation to these like or it like you know it's kind of like the opposite of like do violent video games like you know cause more violence it's like did you really learn anything from you know the power rangers like little half half a minute, you know, conflict resolution Absolutely thing at the not. end of every episode. <laughs> uh, like when they broke the fourth wall, does that really teach you anything? Did we all stop littering because of Captain Planet? Yeah, exactly. Though anyway. I could do Batman the Animated Series. Ooh, yeah. Straight through. Mm-hmm. That would be a good one. Batman the Animated Series is, Yeah. Um, well, I have to say that I tried it on, um, a platform we share and it is not in order and it is a little bit, it's not confusing cause it's just one episode after another, but it's a little bit like, 
Oh, right. this is not what this episode title I is. I need oh, to God. go through and fix those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, do. I do. It's bugged me. I haven't watched all those through because of that. I'm like, oh, right. yes, <laughs> this is not the right thing. If I right. get a two-parter, I am screwed because it's not going to be that <laughs> one afterwards. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? Uh, oh, man. Yeah, Batman the Animated Series. And, you know, after watching Wings, I really want to just go through the new Superman the Animated Series. Tim, Yeah. Tim, da- Tim Daly as Superman. Like, yeah, like there are certain times when we're watching it, I'm like, yeah, that's the voice of Superman, but he is a weirdo in this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah. Well, if we can... Speaking of weirdos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I got nothing. We, uh, it's weird times now, correct? Yes. And I was thinking, uh, since no one's really allowed to travel, we should talk about some travels <laughs> All right. of, our, of our own. Maybe uh, specific, the bygone eras. <laughs> maybe specifically, sometimes you've flown on a plane and what your experience was like maybe some good times, maybe some not so good plain times. Yeah, um, I, I'm I I reminisced to, to one of the longest flights that I had. Uh-huh. Um, it was from uh, oh man, what city did I fly out of? I want to say like. I was in memorable like Boston. Bo- well, it was you know it was a connecting flight, so I flew from like uh, Denver uh-huh. to like Boston or to something Boston? somewhere on really? the east, east on the Not east to coast. like Chicago. But, well, no, it was from was it Chicago? I can't remember. But from there, I flew to London, so right. over the Atlantic. I can't remember exactly. I bet it was Chicago. It's, sure, my that would be my bet. That would be my guess. That's mm-hmm. pretty common. Uh, right. If you're going that way, but <laughs> if you're going that way, um. So anyway, um. So I went on British Airways Ooh, um, from fancy from the U.S. to to England, and it was like, yeah. Did you fly during tea time? Say, uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know. You're crossing so many timelines. Okay. Timelines, time zones, timelines. <laughs> <laughs> we are now in the darkest time. <laughs> um. But yeah, so we, so I was, I was flying by myself Uh and, uh, luckily enough, it was not a very popular flight, which is probably, maybe it was Boston because people don't go from Boston (laughs) to London, but, um, but I actually got a whole aisle or a whole row, I should say. A whole row to yourself? All to myself. That is snazz. I literally just asked. I was like, um, <clears throat> can I just like lie down? Like nobody's here. And the flight attendant was like, yeah, as long as you have your seatbelt on and we can see it, go for it. So I just, you know, flipped the little arms up, you know, kind of balled up my, my, uh, extra clothes and stuff and just like slept like on a park bench style. Nice. For, like most, most of the flight, which was actually super nice because i can sleep in a lot of places and i can sleep you know sitting up if i need to but it just you wake up and you're refreshed and it's great and you're just like man <laughs> like it was nothing but so that was probably one of my best long flights because it was just like oh well i'll just plunge out here nice do you remember and, how long uh, of a flight it was i i want to say it was like over 12 hours. I can't remember exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my longest flight would be to uh, to and from Korea. Korea. Korea, which is mm-hmm. about a 16-hour flight. And a bit from Boston. Anyway, 16? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. From where to where? From just... Well, okay, so Korea. so we first when we flew when we flew there, we went from Denver to 
San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Connecting flight in San Francisco to Seoul. Oof. But the main flight itself is like 16 hours. So that's not the connecting flight. That's like the straight mm-hmm. straight flight. Right. Uh, on the way back, so that's the short way, right? <laughs> Going over right. over the uh, Pacific Ocean. That's the short way. On the way back, we went the long way. We went from... Uh, Through all... No. You didn't hit Australia, right? We went to Australia. Yeah, oh, yeah. so... So, yeah, so when we left Korea, we did this huge backpacking trip and went through Southeast Asia and ended up down in Australia. And so when we flew home, we flew from Australia, from Perth, and we went uh, to Qatar in the Middle East, uh, got a connecting flight there, and flew back had a connecting flight in Chicago and then back to Denver. So literally all the way around with a year in between. Right. Right. Wow. We made it nice all the way. And we, we did that because we, we did, did it, guys. We we were coming home and we didn't have anything waiting for us at the time. We didn't have any time constraints and it was cheaper to do the long way with a couple connections than it was to go the short way. So Mm-hmm. That was what we did. The uh, the I will say that our flight to Korea on Asiana Airlines was primo, great flight. <laughs> that is primo. a it's a nice. I don't think people say primo anymore, but it was great. <laughs> uh, that's a very nice airline. If you get the chance to ride that, it's a long flight, but yet we did fine. They have movies and whatnot that you can watch and they had their seats were comfy and uh and yeah so that's probably one of one of the nicer flights we've we've been on uh ever yeah no that works it that's definitely work. that's definitely it makes or breaks it man because like I've been on little dinky short flights from, um, like you know, just from Utah to to Colorado uh-huh. and stuff, and like where you got to like you walk out on the tarmac, and you're just like, what is going on here? And you get on like I remember one time um, I was flying out of Provo where it's like a like a, a one horse airport like it right. is like one like runway horse flies the plane <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> he's the stewardess um, and he's everything <laughs> yeah he um but yeah they it, it was funny because i was sitting in the terminal and like i saw on somebody's ticket that they were going to denver and i was like oh, okay i'm like oh that guy's going to denver and it took me a second to be like oh duh Everybody here is going to Denver because there's only one gate. So everybody oh. in this area, if anybody's leaving, they're they're leaving. They're going with and, you. Yeah, they're going with they're going with me. And you walk out, um, you know, just straight out out the door on the tarmac, and you walk up the little stairs that they you know wheel up to the plane and everything. And I got a seat right by the engine and it was a prop plane. And I was like, Oh man, like I haven't seen one of these in forever. <laughs> like, and so actually sitting there and watching the prop like spin up and everything was just, it was very just kind of Crazy. different to be like, yeah. And like feeling it kind of shake until it got like got going and everything. It was, yeah, that was, that was a little bit weird, but it was only like an hour or 45 minutes or whatever. Right. So it's not like, you know, you're like, crazy cramped forever yikes well one of our worst mm-hmm. flights um was on an airline that will remain nameless that starts with a u and ends with a united um <laughs> united uh-huh um where were we going florida, florida? my wife says florida Florida. Was that okay. Disney World where your seat didn't work? 
The hearse seat was faulty, and basically, if you put any pressure on the back of the seat, uh-huh. it would recline all the way. Ooh, nice! It would have been <laughs> nice no if latch. she could just like latch. lay yeah. down, but like, mm-hmm. um, it wasn't like a night flight or anything. People aren't sleeping, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, anyways, it was the worst. It was the worst. We were like, uh, our seat's broken. Can we sit somewhere else? And they're like, uh, no, you have to sit there. And Jeez. they were not very nice about it. Mm-hmm. So, anywho, uh, that was a bad one. It wasn't terribly long, I suppose, but still, not great. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've flown quite a bit now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't, um, I don't know. Those are the ones that are standing out at the moment as flights go. Well, though you uh, though you mentioned like having a whole row to yourself. When I went on tour with this choir that I was in 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 high school, we went to Japan, and on the flight back, which is also like a sixteen hour flight, mm-hmm. there was like nobody on the plane. And we could basically, it was like a huge plane, right? Where there's like five seats in a middle row and then like three seats on either side. It's the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just huge. And it was basically us in coach. So the Mm -hmm. the choir. And so you could like just get up and like go sit in a row by yourself if you wanted to be like by nobody. Um, Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of moving around within that 16 hours, um, which was kind of fun, but so that was a long was, time ago now. Yeah. When I was a kid, I remember one time, um, so we used to fly back and forth from, uh, Jersey from Utah, from Utah to, or not Utah, from Colorado to Jersey, uh-huh. um, all the time for, uh, and spend the summers out there, um, and everything. And, my brother and I would fly together and my sister would always have some kind of gymnastics thing or something. And so she would get to fly later um, and come like the next week or three days later or something like that. If I remember correctly. Um, And so she was, you know, unaccompanied minor and she got to fly in first class a lot of times because she was by herself. Yeah, Yeah. She was, she was by herself. But since my brother and I were together, and somehow two kids who are younger equal more responsibility <laughs> or something, <laughs> and so um, we would always have to still, you know, ride and coach. And one time they sat us right in front of coach, so we were right uh, by the little curtain for the first class and stuff. Uh-huh. And I just remember we were so hungry. We were so hungry and like they started like the first class like dinner service right or meal service whatever and like the parents got like this like shrimp and salad thing and the kids got like these like huge like ham sandwiches with on like crescent rolls and stuff like that oh, and i'm just sitting there i'm like oh my gosh and they're like cookies and everything it was just, and, like, I don't even think we got a meal. Like, we just sat there, like, drooling <laughs> over this whole thing, like, the entire flight. It was terrible. Oh, my and, gosh, man. And one time when we were uh, flying back and forth, we met this guy who had a robotic arm. Okay. Like, legit. Really? Uh, his arm was, like, um, I want to say right after, you know, uh like amputated right below the elbow. Okay. And, um, you know, it wasn't a hook. It was an actual, like, all plastic with a grabber, like, neat, neat, like, at the end, that was, like, robotic and everything. And we were just, like, fascinated by this guy. And he's telling us, like, his arm got bit off. He got bit off by a shark and, like, all this kind of different stuff. And I was talking to my brother about it, like, later. And he's like, do you actually believe that guy? Like, this is, like, when we're, like, 20. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you don't think that he's, like, got, like, a, you know, seven and an eight-year-old? And he's just like, 
Oh, what, ha- what happened to your arm? I got bit off by a shark. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! <laughs> it's like, no, actually, you know, I just, uh, you know, I fell asleep on it wrong, and you know, it got infected or something. You know, like, <laughs> like he's getting the gangrene. <laughs> exactly, like something stupid where he, you know, he just like, but like he takes like the. Oh yeah, I got bit by a shark. We're like, no way, man, that's awesome. And he was just showing us how it was like, and. Yeah, it was like the best piece of like '90s technology had to offer at the time, um, but it was pretty cool. I remember nice. that because uh, we got in trouble because we he was sitting behind us and we were like you know up on our knees like you know back holding on to the back of the himself. seat, yeah, and like kept having to get told to be turned around and stuff like that. Because we're like, no, the, 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 he got his arm bit off by a shark. <laughs> yeah, nice. Wherever that guy is. I I really hope I mean his arm's already gone so I don't feel bad but I really hope it was a shark attack right? <laughs> you know <laughs> just making up a cool story that's awesome but, yeah well cool so well if you have any good flight fun stories fun flights hit us up let us know what it was any bad flight stories as well um yeah 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 so tag yes sir what's you're new. Give us a new. Well, my new this week is that I tried to fix my bicycle. Okay. I bought a... Uh, <laughs> tried to fix it. I tried to fix <laughs> it. It's still <laughs> under the weather. Um, oh. So my bike... Okay. Uh, when we were first married, I was still going to... Uh, you know what is nor is, is uh, most people call college. I was still going to college. Uh, <laughs> most most people no most people call it university. Eh, eh, if you're going, I've for... heard it both ways. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but uh, we lived really pretty close, fairly close to my university, and uh, I had taken up riding my bike to school every now and then. Mm-hmm. And one day I, I was going and uh, not thinking and I was starting to go up the hill and I went to sh- shift my back uh, gear down to the, uh, you know, up to the highest or the, th- the fattest gear. You know? I can't do that, man. I can't do that. What? Like, were you were you pedal faster, you know, but you don't go as fast? For whatever reason, yeah, man. But if you worked. go, if you go for a long distance and you're tired, you mm-hmm. best put that front gear in the lowest and the back gear in the highest, because you because it's the easiest to maintain. You go slow, but it's the easiest pedal resistance to go up a hill. That's what it's I understand made that. To do it just for me. It just doesn't work like that. Like I, I you're get too strong. More fati- I get more fatigued, like going, <laughs> and like you know, barely moving up the hill. Going, going, where if I, I always ride it in like you know, lowest on front or highest on front, lowest on the back, and like you know, so I'm like pumping and I'm like pushing and pushing and pushing, and even like a, up a steep hill, I'm like. Huh! And I can feel myself like actually yeah, but moving you're like, with each other. You're like standing up on the pedals. Going, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the point, though. The point is so you don't have to stand up. You shift it down so you can stay in your right. seat and not kill your 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 uh, hamstrings. But anyways, right. um, but that's part of the story. Let me finish the rest of it. <laughs> uh, so I went to shift up into the lowest gear, uh, forgetting that if. I just slam it all the way down. My gears are not uh, <laughs> calibrated quite correctly. So oh, I got to ease it in to the lowest gear. But no, I went mm-hmm. all the way down, which actually pushed it past the lowest gear. And oh. the back derailleur, like... Derailed it. Well, it slammed into the spokes, and the spokes ripped the back derailleur apart. Oh, jeez. Just killed it. <laughs> just killed it. Yeah. And I that was, you know, 10 years ago. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, uh, just so get... it's it's critical. Like it's been under the weather a long time. Oh yeah, it's it's. Chronic. I thought it was dead. Um, so I decided I'll buy it back derailleur and see if I can fix it, or at least get it into kind of working order. Mm-hmm. I realized now, ten years later, that I had bent the frame of the bike of the bike. So where the derailleur connects. Like the fork. Yeah, basically. there's a little nub behind the fork where the dealer where it connects on, right? Mm-hmm. And when it went into the spokes, it must have pulled it a little bit, and it and it bent that back connection a little bit. So I, I bought Jeez. a new derailleur, and it's on there, but it's like ski wampus. It's a little sideways because I can't I can't straighten that piece out. I well, I might have to try some more, but I tried to straighten it out. Uh, mm-hmm. So instead of like a straight derailleur for switching my gears, it's like a little tilted to the right or left mm-hmm. or whatever. And so it rubs a little bit. It works, but it's not the best. And then I also realized that I left it outside for a while and like my uh, my cable for my mm-hmm. front shifter, the sheathing uh, uh, broke up towards the shifter itself Mm -hmm. uh like the shift yeah the shifting mechanism or where where i'm shifting it not the mechanism itself not the whatever um (laughs) and it rusted it rusted that cable out and broke most of it off jeez louise man so i i was riding i rode it around the block i made around the block but my front derailleur my front derailleur now before I started messing with that with that cable, could go into second gear, but not into third, and now it's stuck in first gear. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, it kind of <laughs> wor- it kind of works, um, but I basically need to get a new cable for that front, and I don't know. I'm contemplating just getting a whole new shifting mechanisms if I have to switch that out because I got right. I got the old grip shifts. Mm-hmm. That's how old that bike is. Um, though I, I went online and Amazon still sells the grip shifts, man. You can still buy yourself a grip shift if you want. Oh well, yeah, man. I mean, you could buy like all kinds of old parts if you want. Well, I, it's on Amazon. No, yeah. they're still making them. Like these are mm-hmm. new parts, and I'm like, I didn't think that the grip shift survived, but there you go. Um, anyways, so that's my thing. I fixed that bike. Uh, I've been teaching my son to pedal a bike. Mm -hmm. He's learning to, to ride a pedal bike. And then we put my wife's bike together as well that she probably hasn't ridden in four or five years or whatever. (laughs) We put that together today. Hers has no issues unlike mine. So just put it together and pumped it up and zoom, zoom. She was gone. So. Oh, that's good. I definitely uh, need to bust out my bike. I mean, weather's getting good. We've got some good bike yeah, trails and stuff. But for me, it was uh, when I ate it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, like a year and a half ago, I want to say. Um, and, you know, got passed over by a cop. <laughs> like, oh, that bugs me That'll so wound you. bad. Yeah. Like, That'll wound you. Oh, I'm just lying here in the middle of the road, like, you know, bloodied and everything. And he's just like, oh, there's a bloody kid in the road. Let me just turn, like, get out of this lane. <laughs> You're like, and I'm then, an adult. Yeah. <laughs> like, How oh, yeah, you? not even going to stop, you know, see if you need help. Um, But, yeah, well, good luck, man. Get out there. Thank you. Get, get some, get some. I'll say power I, back I rolled legs. around the block and I was like, my hamstrings are tired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like well, a, first gear the whole time, right? I, well, I mean, I was I was in second for most of it, <laughs> and right. I got my derailleur on the back. I don't have it tuned perfectly, so I can't go all the way into to seven. <laughs> I can't go all the way down to one, but but three to five works great. Okay. So. <laughs> As long as I don't care if it's three or five. <laughs> yeah, this is not a big this is no big deal. <laughs> all right. So. It kind it kind of yeah, so it wasn't too bad. But I went up a hill and uh, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna feel that. 
That's crazy that it just like slammed in and bent your frame and everything. You know, you think oh, that some I just kind wasn't of... even thinking, and I just mm-hmm. I just slammed it straight down. I should just you should just go one gear at a time as you're shifting. Right, you could do it kind of quickly, but but I just mm-hmm. went zoop uh, with the shift, the grip shift, and uh, swung it straight in like a doofus. <laughs> it's a ten year mistake. I'm still dealing with. <laughs> Mm -hmm. anyways what's new with you man what's your new new for me um i uh actually got a new doorbell say huh yeah uh so uh when this uh this house here had a ring uh video or camera doorbell whatever you want to call it Uh uh-huh and uh, had to contact the lady to get her to remove it from her account so that we can set it up and everything. And right. it just, I don't know, it wasn't great. Like You didn't like it. You could basically tell that there's a figure at your door. <laughs> oh, but you couldn't, like, like see them yeah, for real. It was, yeah, it's just, I mean, hopefully the person I just sold it to is not listening to this, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a just strange it for, shadow at my door. Yeah, I j- just sort of stole it for sixty bucks, but um, but yeah, it was like the first generation, so it was just kind of you know uh, couldn't tell what was really going on or anything like that. Yeah. So upgraded to the Nest. Ooh, did you really? Yeah. So the Nest uh, video doorbell, and um, it is uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, just sitting there watching, not watching it, but, like, when I open the app and stuff, like, I'll just, just flip sit there through. And watch it all day. Yeah. Well, like, I'll just sit there and flip through the, uh, like, the video for it. Yeah. And, like, watch, like, the cloud formations and stuff and just, like, you know, like, watch birds on my lawn, like, all this kind of different stuff. Like, it's actually, like, the picture is, like, crazy good. Nice. Um, and everything and um, and it's nice because it's like you know I don't get a bunch of crazy notifications because that was the other thing like the the ring was going off all all the time and everything like that but one of the other things that I had to do since it's hardwired in to the actual door chime and everything Uh is um, like I had to take the door chime like cover off and everything like that but the whole doorbell comes off of the wall like the cover is just this plastic you know nothing that has not even like anything like really holding it on there besides like a tiny bit of friction okay i just go to slide it off and the whole doorbell just rips right out of the wall like the screws just come straight off are you serious i'm like what the flipping crap is this and like yeah it's just dangling there by the wires and everything so i gotta like put some anchor screws in that and i'm just like i mean this is just another one of those things where it's like yeah you just never know what is going to happen you're like oh yeah what is it oh this isn't even bolted on (laughs) this is just (laughs) stuck together with gum and you know (laughs) gum and tape like it's just it was just crazy and so um and also none of the breakers are labeled right yeah you know i'm not gonna put it on anybody to say like this is the breaker for the doorbell but you know you gotta so um the breaker box i don't know if i mentioned this is on the outside like in the backyard oh really (laughs) so that's annoying so literally i mean we should have just called each other but we just have like the kitchen window open (laughs) and then the front door open yeah and i'm like try it now and definitely like rings the doorbell and it's like oh and then flip that one on, flip that one, next one off. I'm like, okay, try it now. <laughs> like, just like scream <laughs> at each other. Because it's like, and it's like, and the wiring is so weird. I want to say that it was like, um, like the furnace. Like, like I switched really? off. The, yeah, I had to like, it's like the breaker for like the furnace is tied to the doorbell. That's weird. So, or no, no, no. No, the, Sorry. That's the upstairs bathroom. The upstairs bathroom and the furnace are on the same circuit. What? <laughs> Where <laughs> the the front doorbell is actually on the circuit for the back, um, 
like the backyard uh, light, like the porch light in the backyard. And so I don't know. I can Weird. only imagine. It's 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 just random random stuff. But I also got the sprinklers working, um, which is you know always one of those adventures where you just like are sitting there getting sprayed <laughs> you know like because um because we couldn't get it to start because the the shut off was um it's actually like in the street so like you got to have that big curb key and all that kind of different stuff uh-huh. right so i couldn't find that because the grass was so overgrown um that my neighbor actually was like oh it's actually here and like like we dug up, you know, good chunk of grass and he's like, oh, okay. And I got the curb key out, turned it on. And then like, um, I was like, okay, well, I'll just try this at all the different, you know, spots. So you just like, or I'm just turning it on at like, you know, the, the controls that are in the ground and you have no idea which sprinkler is going to go on. Yeah. So you, you just like turn it on, wait like 10 seconds and then all of a sudden it's you're like, I'm like wet. right in your face. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what's going on and everything like that. And it's just like, oh, at least it was pretty much winterized. Like that was my only, <laughs> the only saving grace. Right. Cause yeah, that, that would have been terrible. But yeah. So I just, you know, spent half my Saturday just getting soaked and trying to figure out all these, you know, sprinkler heads that are facing the wrong way or nice. covered in mud and everything. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was all captured on my uh, my Nest doorbell, so I'm sure if anybody oh wants nice, to me, just get, get sprayed in the face. Yeah, share the video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So nice. Um, but yeah, I uh, I specifically I was like, oh, I'll probably it's like I should probably put in the doorbell, or I should wait till Stephanie gets home in case I just like shock the crap out of myself because <laughs> I didn't <laughs> shut because I couldn't find which circuit it was. Oh man, but yeah. It was uh, that was fun stuff. Nice so, man, Holmes. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend. Yeah, just for your own entertainment, get yourself a you know, get yourself security a home. cameras. Or, <laughs> oh, or, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, get yourself a security camera or like uh, doorbells and stuff. Because yeah, like you know, you just sit sit in your house and just watch people going. Nice. Going around people watch and they don't even know about it. Exactly. What exactly. what times we live in? <laughs> it's amazing. No, it's, it is crazy. I mean, I'm just assuming that you know satellites are watching us all the time. Well, they and definitely the, are, man. And you got the Google, the Google Earth. Google Earth, yeah. But so um, that is the podcast. This and we appreciate is it. Yes, you all joining Thank you. us and. Hope you had out. a good time as well. Yeah, I had a great time. Thanks for asking. So tag's gonna go off um, riding his bike, and I'm just gonna be watching on my creepy camera. Well, I gotta fix my bike still. <laughs> right, <laughs> and we have to be in the same state. Right. So, <laughs> but, um, but everybody, uh, hope you guys are staying safe out there. Yes. Hope you guys are getting a little bit of. Uh, you know, stir craziness out with uh, some of these podcasts. And uh, if you have any questions or comments for us, uh, hit us up. Yeah. Tag N Brando at Gmail and Instagram and Twitter. T A G G N B R A N D O. You got it. Righty. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Guys and, and gals. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>